Hi guys, today I'll be going through the computer system in the network. So, to start off, we have our skeleton code for this. So, these are for questions 1 and 2. And so, essentially, while we're looping over, we want to add we want to add something. We want to first we want to check what is the character we're currently on. So, we want to do so we want to do a branch of equal so if let's say we want to make sure that the character is a space let's say we just do this comma and where will we go we go to say if space so we just have it Space function. So we want to have this space function here, and then if not, we want to just continue. So what? Sorry, um, continue. So, okay, also, I don't think I'll edit this video just so you know. And then here is where continue will be. So let's say we want to essentially skip over the space. Well, what would we do? We would just, if we're in space, we just load the next byte. So we just increment t2 by 1. So all we do is T what T naught which is our indexer. So add I comma T naught dot T naught comma one sorry comma T naught dot another T naught apologies comma there and then we're just going to load the byte in this position. So we're just going to load byte. Dollar t naught, comma t naught. Sorry, that's wrong. T two bracket. Comma naught, comma bracket, sorry, dollar t naught. And essentially, we're just going to store this byte. So, essentially, all we're doing here is skipping over the space by loading the next byte. And essentially, all we've done here is we've removed spaces. Now, let's say we wanted to capitalize something. So, capital letters and lowercase letters work very weirdly. So, capital letters to lowercase is plus 32 in decimal and lowercase to capital is going to be minus 32. So essentially we have these values and we want to essentially just get a capital letter. So all we're going to do is if let's say we know that a is going to be the is going to be like essentially where the capital letters start so that's going to be our lowest ascii value so anything less than a we just want to continue and then anything greater than z 
well, lowercase red, because that is our last letter of the ASCII. Um, we also want to continue. Please note, if you're not familiar with the ASCII table, please get yourself familiar with it. Um, I can... I can't put an ASCII table into this, but yeah. There should be ASCII tables on the internet and you should see what you're bound up. So now I want to just get the capital letters. So anything less than equal to, so this means branch less than equal to, go T2, comma, capital Z. We know we'll go to capital letters. And anything greater than or equal to lowercase a will go to lowercase letters. Please note that this also would work, for example, if we swapped out this a for just the ASCII value. It doesn't really matter. Because again, it's read in ASCII, so that's all you need to do for this. And then obviously your um, your functions for capital letter and capital letter and lowercase letter. We're going to just have some functions. I guess we can have this be T just in case it's a space or a T two. We already have our space function written, comma. <clears throat> Let's say we have this to just um uppercase or oh, it would actually be capital. And all we do here is plus or Um, well, if it's capital, we're going to plus 32 to whatever's in T2. And for, so that would just look like add I. Dollar T2, comma, dollar T2. Comma thirty two, and similarly we want to do the lower case hashtag minus thirty two to value in T two. We're just gonna add an extra number, so add I comma dollar T two comma dollar T two comma minus 32 and that's it and then obviously you'd need to either continue or put jump there i don't know it's up to you guys what you're going to do with this like do you want to skip over it if you want to skip over any lowercase letters all you do is do the same as we did here this just converts uppercase to lowercase if we want to skip over it we just do this here etc so yeah, that's essentially all the you need to do. Let's say you wanted to replace all the lowercase letters. All you do here is set it here. So sorry, I'm just have to look up the set equals function. Yeah, essentially you just need to load it in so load integer t2 well not load integer load immediate dollar t2 comma star let's say we wanted to replace all lowercase letters with star comma 
that's it. That's how you would essentially kind of do this if you wanted to replace these letters or similar. Um, anything, let me just see if there was any other things I haven't covered. So yeah, you could even essentially get rid of, let's say we didn't want these lowercase letters. Well, again, we just skip over them by just doing this function here. And then, um, how would we get all the punctuation now? Punctuation is a pain. I'm not going to lie, filtering it all out is a real pain. But essentially, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to need some upper bounds and your lower bounds. So I would have a separate... Well, again, it's up to you guys to look at the ASCII table and decide your bounds. But once you have chosen your bounds, again, it's as easy as essentially how would you... So this here is essentially looking to the next character. And let's say if it was a punctuation mark, I'm not going to tell you guys how to filter out punctuation marks just because like that's something you guys are going to have to figure out yourself. Uh, it's not very hard to filter out punctuation marks. But I'm not going to give you like all the answers for the coursework. It's more about teaching you guys, like I showed you here, how to filter out uppercase and lowercase letters. I showed you how to filter out if it's a space, etc. So again, it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to figure out how to do that for punctuation. So again, let's say we have a space and we want to look at the next character. Well, let's say that this next character is equal to, so branch of equal, we want to do, if let's say, solidity 2 equals a number, um, I'm just going to put num here for now, we want to branch it to, equal to numbers, and essentially all we're going to do is, Actually, we don't even need to do that, we can just continue. Which means that if we have, we're going to load a byte, if it's a number, we're just going to go to continue and store that byte. If it's not, we want to just jump to not num. So what will not num look like? It will just be, we'll just load the byte of the previous one, so we'll just do add i, comma, t0, comma, t0, comma, minus 1, and then we're just going to load that previous byte in. Which again is t2, comma, naught, t naught. Hopefully this makes sense to you guys what I've done. But yeah, so essentially over here we're just going back to the last byte if it's not a number. And so we will not be replacing it. But if it is a number, then we'll just continue and get rid of the space. Similarly um let's see any other examples that were kind of tricky um yeah i guess over here if the word does not start with a capital letter let's say it's a capital we want to just Skip over it. Well, the whole world, word, let's say the word starts with capital and we want to remove it. All we'll do here is we want to um, do this thing where we add a new byte. Well, actually, I'm just trying to think. How would I approach this if, it, if we were trying to discard a whole word? Well, I would keep. 
skipping over until I found a stage. Actually, I just, I wouldn't really know. I'm not sure how to approach if we want to remove a whole word. I do apologise, but the logic I would think would look something like Check is next. If yes, skip. If if space, stop skipping. We want to store the bike. So let let's see that. Let's see how that works. So we're gonna check the next letter. So load bike. Um, of the next letter, which is this. Oh, sorry, we forgot to add this. I feel like this could be a way to do it, I don't know, recursively. Which will make it a bit easier. Um, so let's just say we're just not going to call it capitals, we're just going to call it letters. So then if. So over here, P Q space. So Q T. And we just do something if it's a space. Otherwise, um, I just say jump back to letters. And that's when I would essentially, in space here, I would just store the current byte. And then, yeah, so if I get to a space or if I get to a lowercase letter, then I would. So, Essentially, if I'm at a space, I would check the next one. If it's a lower, if it's an uppercase letter, then I would run this letters thing, which will just skip over all of them. And I also, yeah, which increments the indexer, and I'd skip over all of them. And then until I got to another space, and then after I do that, I would do, I would go, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it for these two questions. Thank you.